Hey everyone, I hope you are getting excited, uh, expecting as Christmas is almost upon us, and I hope we will see you here on Christmas Eve as we gather together and celebrate. Well, right now we've been going through this series, Behold Your King, and it's really going to come all together on Christmas and then the week after Christmas. And actually, uh, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what's coming the week after Christmas. See, the week after Christmas, or as I like to call it, uh, National Youth Pastors Day, because that's the day the youth pastors around the world gather together and preach. That way the senior pastor no longer has to do it. But on that day, we're going to kind of pull this whole series together. And what we're going to do is really look at what it means if we correctly view Jesus as king. What does that mean then for us? Because behold your king isn't just a transcendent truth to believe in. It should be an everyday reality for us. And so what we need to do is, if we believe Jesus is king, how then should we live in light of that? I think it really comes down to three things, and it comes down to really Matthew 5 when Jesus is talking. And it's this idea, it's the greatest commandment, right? Jesus says you got to love God, love one another, and love the world. And so we're going to take a dive into what that means, because if Jesus is king, then we need to live that as an everyday reality for us. Hope to see you guys here on Christmas Eve and then the following week as we begin to explore that idea of how do we live as Jesus as our King.